Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Today I am going to explain how to add bootstrap package in an angular project. At first, we will create an angular project. For that, I will run the command ng new and the project name would be add hyphen bootstrap. And it will ask whether I need to add routing or not in my project. For now, I am just pressing Y. Now it is asking like which style format I need to choose for my project. Here I will select SCSS and press enter. Our project that is add bootstrap has been created. Now we will add bootstrap and bootstrap icons package. For that I will go inside the project that is add bootstrap and we will run the command npm i stands for install bootstrap and bootstrap hyphen icons. Next we will check in the package.json whether it has been added or not. So we can see that bootstrap and bootstrap icons have been added and the version of bootstrap that has been added is 5.2.3. Now we will open angular.json file and we will go to the styles array. We will have two styles array, one for the test object and one for the project. This one is for the project that is add bootstrap. So here we will add bootstrap files or more specifically bootstrap scss files. The path of the files are node modules forward slash bootstrap forward slash scss forward slash bootstrap dot scss. We will add another file that is node modules forward slash bootstrap hyphen icons forward slash font forward slash bootstrap hyphen icons dot css we'll save the file and now we'll add a script file in the scripts array the path of the script file is node modules forward slash bootstrap forward slash test and inside that we'll go to the js folder and we'll pick bootstrap dot bundle dot main dot js file. We'll save this angular dot json file and install a new package that is ng bootstrap. To install that, we'll run the command. And we'll press enter. We'll go to the package.json file and check ng bootstrap has been added. Now we'll start the server of this project. To start the server, we'll execute the command ng s stands for server hyphen o and we'll press enter. It will open the project over the browser at 4200 port. As we can see that our project that is add bootstrap is running over 4200 port perfectly fine. Now we'll add HTML button instead of this entire UI. For that, we'll go to the app component HTML file. Let's open that file app.component.html file and we'll delete everything from here. We'll add a button tag and we'll say it as bootstrap button. If I save this file and go to the browser, we can see a plain HTML button. Now there is a class in bootstrap that is button primary We'll add that button primary class in this button and we'll see if that class CSS that is button primary CSS is getting applied in this button or not. So now let's check this. We'll add the class that is button button hyphen primary and save the file. As we can see that button primary class CSS has been applied and that CSS is coming from bootstrap package. To confirm that, let me right click over this bootstrap button and inspect this. We can see that this button primary is coming from button.scss and this button.scss is a part of bootstrap package. So we have successfully installed bootstrap in an angular project and I showed you how to use bootstrap in an angular project. If you have any query then please let me know in the comment section.
I would love to help you. If you find this video useful, please share with your friends and like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to not miss any future notification. Let's meet in the next video. Till that, be happy. Take care. Signing off.